We showed you this video earlier this week as Tampa World War II vets were flown out to Normandy and attended the ceremonies in person. Well, tonight we are recounting a special reunion from ABC Action News 12 years ago, Lauren. Yeah, so that's when we actually learned two D-Day veterans, you see them right here, were part of the first wave to storm the beach at Normandy. Both were living in Pasco County. But as our Pasco County reporter Eric Waxler shows us, they didn't know each other until one saw the other on our newscast. We're a special group. Yes, a club that not many people are in. Their dads have been gone for several years now, but Sandy Liaza Pierce and Diana Lara met via Zoom on this D-Day anniversary to talk about their father's place in history. When I think of how young our dads were, it just is, it just blows my mind. And the bravery, that's what just how did they do that? Back in 2012, I interviewed Army veteran Alphonse Lara, who was living in Pasco County. He was part of the first wave to storm Omaha Beach. After we aired the story, the family of another D-Day veteran also living in Pasco County got in touch with me. His name, Al Yeza. It turned out both were in the same Army unit but never knew each other. We were there when they met for the first time. I don't care how old I get as long as I'm healthy. I also traveled with them and many other veterans to Washington, D.C. in 2013 on an honor flight. Thank you. <laughs> that day was filled with emotion, especially when they visited the World War II Memorial. I'm speechless. I got chills. Brings back a lot of memories. I got tears in my eyes. Both men never talked much about D-Day. He um, said that was the day his hair turned white and his pants turned brown. My dad was so skinny um, uh, and his backpack pulled him backwards and he started drowning. And I believe it was his commanding officer that pulled him up and out of the water. I don't want to think about it <laughs> a lot because I, it frightens me. He had to be so scared, <laughs> so afraid. They all did. He never knew that he was on the first wave of Normandy until about three years prior to his passing. Right. It, that generation is the greatest generation. Laura was 90 years old when he passed away in 2014. It was just a short time after he went on that honor flight. Lieza died in 2018. He was 94. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.